10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. On a woman's regular day, and especially during her menstrual period, sanitary napkins and panty liners are always to the rescue. Sounds beneficial, but do you know that inside your sanitary napkins lie a silent hazard that must be exposed? Most of the affordable sanitary napkins and panty liners on the market today are using recycled cartons and papers as absorbent pads. These scrap papers, which are surely infested with unnoticeable microorganisms, undergo the process of paper pulp bleaching. After bleaching, these are integrated into your sanitary napkins as it passes through manufacturing processes. Pulp and paper companies grind and moisten it to form a product called pulp. Producing sanitary napkins begins with half-meter wide rolls of cellulose pulp. The rolls feed one long machine that does everything. First, knives spinning at 3,000 RPM shred the pulp into a fine fluff. Then the machine sprinkles that fluff with polymer powder. The polymered fluff then travels through what's called the doser, a device that measures out the required amount of fluff per pad layer. The machine then suctions each dose into a closed chamber where an air current blows it into a pad-shaped mold. Then another air current blows it out of the mold onto a wheel that transfers it to a conveyor belt. The machine simultaneously makes a second pad layer. This one is smaller, rectangular, and at least double the density of the first layer, meaning it has more cellulose compressed into a smaller size. The compression roller also embosses a pattern that will disperse the menstrual flow, helping absorption. A shocking revelation, right? But this is still not the peak point of danger. As the paper pulp undergoes bleaching, there is a byproduct produced during the process, and this is the chemical called dioxin. Evident to this, a fact sheet released by the World Health Organization in May 2010 cited paper pulp bleaching as one source of dioxin contamination. But what is dioxin? And how does it silently harm people, especially women? Dioxin is a highly poisonous chemical compound. It is 130 times more poisonous than cyanide and 900 times more poisonous than arsenic. It is named the most poisonous man-made chemical. The International Cancer Research has labeled it as first-class cancer-causing agent to humans. According to study, an average woman uses 15,000 sanitary pads in her whole life. In other words, there are 15,000 times of risk to be exposed to dioxin. What are the side effects of dioxin exposure? Dioxin is not your typical kind of toxic chemical which might affect one kind of effect, might only cause neurotoxicity or reproductive toxicity or cancer. Dioxin seems to have the ability to interfere with basic processes in our bodies so that in fact dioxin has been shown in our experimental animal studies and now we're seeing more of this in our human studies dioxin has been shown not only to cause cancer but to cause effects on the skin to cause effects on the gastrointestinal system to cause effects on the reproductive system on the immune system on the cardiovascular system on the endocrine system um, and on the nervous system as well Dioxin's harmful health effects include endocrine disruption, cancer, reproductive impairment, infertility, birth defects, damage to kidneys, and metabolic dysfunction. Included in these risks are also cervical cancer, ovarian cancer and cyst, vulvar tumor, and uterine fibroids. 
There are also common health problems which might be triggered by wrong sanitary napkin choice. Urinary tract infection, genital warts, itchiness caused by chemicals that are irritating the skin and the lining of the vagina, irregular menstruation, leukorrhea or a thick whitish or yellowish discharge from the vagina, red rashes, and bad odor discharge. But wait, 